Hey guys and welcome to the video today. My name's Ben from Ben's Guide and the video today is a tutorial on probably the best design program I've ever used and this program is called Canva. Now why do I like it so much? Well the main reasons are it's so easy to use and it's really fast and quick to use as well. So Canva is this brilliant program which offers everything to you in this one package and it's super simple to use. Now Canva comes in two accounts. You can get this free and you can get this paid. Now the good news is for people which are on a bit of a budget at the moment, the free account is really capable, which means that you have a lot of design options at your fingertips. And this means that you're not really kind of held back too much just because you're not paying. But of course, like every single program out there, you have a, a paid option as well. And this is the one which I use and I love the paid option simply because you can do absolutely everything you can think of on it and you have access to all that Canva offers. So first up at the top, you've got templates. And if we hover over this, you've got a bunch. You've got social media, personal, business, marketing, education, trending, and you've got lists under every single one of these, for the website, logo, Instagram posts, Facebook posts. The list goes on. You have so many available. Now, if you do happen to miss that, you've also got an option here where you get to type into a search bar what you want. So I'm just going to type in YouTube and you can see your YouTube options which come up. These are different options which I can click on and then start creating that design with the correct dimensions. That's really important. And then finally, you have the third option, which is down here, which is create a design. You've got recommended, social media, events, marketing, and the list goes on. If you click into one of these, you can see that you get a whole host of different options, which you can just scroll across and then choose. You can even see all, and you've got a whole bunch of them, which you can just go down through and then choose from exactly which one for which social media platform you want it for. In this case though, let's just go back to the home page because I want to make this tutorial for beginners simple. And the simplest way to do it is start from scratch. So we're going to create a design and put in custom dimensions. I'm going to create a square, 1000 by 1000, and then press create new design. This is going to create a blank square for us to work with. And now I can show you some of the features and tools so that you can really get to grips with these and learn how to use them yourself. First up on the left hand side, you can see we've got templates highlighted. And we've got a bunch of already loaded templates which you can choose from. Now these are really good from just clicking on one like this. And then if you actually really like the design and you just want to make a few changes, you can just make them on this template which is already made. So I can just hover over the areas like this and then I can make changes to them. So if I click on the background, you can see it's highlighted in blue. I can change the color like this, change it to a gray color, let's say, and I can click on this here and then I can change this to a different color. And then I could change this to a different color as well. And you can see that you can very, very quickly start making changes to a design if you want to use one of the custom templates. If we click off this though for a moment, I'm gonna show you how to actually create it from scratch. So we've got our blank background here. Now in this case, I'm gonna create something like a social media post for like a coffee company or something like that. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do. On the left hand side, you've got these options. You've got uploads, which you can upload your own photos. You've got photos, which are already loaded in Canva. If I click on photos, you have a search bar at the top, which enables you to type in something that you're searching for in the photo database on Canva. And this is really, really good. It offers you loads and loads of photos. So I'm going to type in coffee. You can see I've already done this. And then it's going to bring me up loads of different options of pictures for coffee. And some of them are really, really good. I mean, look at that picture. It's beautiful. Now, this is where the free and the paid account comes into play. You can choose from free images or you can choose from paid images. Now, the paid is called the pro account. And you can see that some of these are paid. This is paid, this is a pro one. This is free, this is pro. And you can carry on going through the list to see what's 
pro and what's free. You can see you do get lots of free photos options as well as pro ones. But if you want access to all the videos and all the photos, then the pro account is probably going to be better for you. Now I'm just going to click on a free image. So I'm going to imagine that you haven't actually signed up for a pro account, but more free. And we're going to click on this one of the coffee here. Now I really like this image. You can see the coffee cup, but what I'm going to do with this is I want to fit it to the whole square. So you can see that you have handles on the side and I can actually adjust the size of it. So it's really easy to do. You just drag it up like this, drag it down at this side, and you can see how easy it is to start just creating the dimensions you want. Now I think I'm going to center this and make it really big so you can see the lovely coffee and it looks quite enticing. And there you go. I've actually changed the dimensions of this so it now fits in the square nicely. Now when you click on the image, you can see that you've got these options up here. You've got effects, which you've got a bunch of effects that you can choose from to change the look of your image. Now you can change it rainbow, arctic, um, marmala, whatever that is. You've got all these different colors you can choose from. Now I don't usually use this option much, if I'm going to change the picture, I will then go on to the next option, which is filter. You click on filter. If you're used to using Instagram and programs like that, you'll know about the filter option. Now I want to go for something that's probably um, nice and dulled down. Actually black and white, I think, will look nice for this. So let's come down to this option here. That's black and white. I really like the look of that. It's nice and classic. Now you can see that just by clicking a filter, you've got this in here and you've changed the effect straight away. But you can also change the intensity so I can push that up and make it more intense or I can pull it down and get rid of that black and white intensity. Next up, you've got adjust. And this means that you can adjust the options within this image so I can make it brighter. I can change the contrast. I can add more contrast in. Saturation. I can change the tint if I want to take it from black and white back into a color and the options carry on going. Now I want to make it a bit sharper so you can see all these lovely little bubbles there so they pop out the image. So I'm going to bring the blur down and that's going to sharpen it and that just really stands out. Then you have the option to crop like we did before. You can drag the handles here and then when you've got that into place you can just click done. And finally you can flip this so you can flip it horizontal or you can flip it vertical and then you can get the photo in the position that you want it. So we've got the photo in place. Now I'd like to add some text to it. So we can do that by coming down to text. I'm gonna click on text option, and then you're gonna see a whole bunch of different text designs which are available here. Now, a lot of these are free, but some of the more modern ones which come in these are pro because you can actually animate them and make them stand out in different ways like that. But I think I'm just going to use something once again, which is free to show you that the free account is really quite capable. So I'm going to click on this one here. And now I've got to decide what I'm going to type in. So I'm going to type in something like only the best beans. Now, as you can see, the beans has popped onto the next line here. So I'm just going to drag this across and you'll see that it comes onto the same line. Now the problem is the text is a bit dark, um, so you can't see it stand out well. Simple thing is just double click on the text like that. It'll highlight it. And then if you go onto the A, you can choose your text color. Now I'm going to choose a white color so it stands out. Now that stands out better, but I think it would look good if something was in the background. I'm going to position it down here. Now you can see that when you move it around, you've got these guides which show you if it's centered and if it's in the right area that you want it on the design. Now these are really handy. So I can see that it's centered and it's nice and in position down the bottom here. Now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a background for this so that it stands out even more. And to do that, you can come across to Elements. Now Elements is brilliant. It offers you so many different things. You can create squares and different shapes as you can see here, a whole host of shapes. If you see all, you'll see that there's absolutely loads to choose from. So what we're going to do here is create a background and I'm going to create a square. And then I'm going to drag this down to make it go behind my text. And this is going to mean that the text will stand out more. 
Now just like before you can crop this by dragging it to the side. Now let's make this a bit smaller because it's a bit too high. Drag this up. And in fact, let's make it smaller again. Now what I'm going to do is bring the text down. And you can see that it's nice and centered. That line was showing me there. And that's nearly where I want it. So I'm just going to bring it down a little bit more. And there we go. And I'm quite happy with that where it is. Now, I can see that this is standing out probably a little bit too much. So I'm going to change the color. So I can click on this. If I go up, I've got a color showing. And then all I need to do is click on the color. Now, I want this to be like a gray color. So I could choose from down here because there's some grays. Or I can go up to the top here. And you can see I have the whole color wheel to choose from. So I'm just going to choose this color and then drag it into the gray here. And you can see that I've got that nice gray background, which is keeping in theme with the black and white. Now, if I want to, and I don't want it to be completely uh, solid, I can actually just click on it and then go up to this here, which is transparency, drag it down. And then it's a little bit see through and it just adds a nicer dimension to it like that. So you can see the background through a little bit. And I think that looks really nice. Now I could keep this white or I could choose to put a color in. So if I wanted to change the text color, click on the text, click on the color. And I think maybe a yellow would look really nice here. So just drag across to a yellow. Click in there, make it a bit brighter. And then you've got that nice text color there and it stands out only the best beans now as you can see i've showed you only a few options here there is so many more things that you can go into but you can see now how easy it is just to create a post or a design we've chose a photo we've changed the text and we've also chose a background for the text to make it stand out even more you can do a lot more of course by clicking on these and then you can change the position of them which means that you can bring it forwards or you can go make it go backwards and you can change exactly where it is if it's left right middle center etc now if you're on the text you have even more options you can change effects so you can create different effects shadows lift splice hollow glitch neon really so many different options you can also change the letter width the height and lots more you can create bullet lists and you can center it, you can align it differently. And you've got further options in here where you can also do other things as well. There really is a whole host of features here and I've only touched the surface. There really is so much more.